So someone may have wanted to travel or do something and jump in. Somebody may have had some difficulty waking up to the reality of something. Maybe their feelings or their emotions. Or maybe they did travel. Um, someone could have been alone. <clears throat> in hermit mode, possibly in isolation. So somebody may have wanted to travel. Um, or they woke up and decided to travel to someone who is in isolation. So there may have been some sort of visit. Or somebody wanted to. Someone's trying to reinflate something, pump something up. So there could have been like a canceled date or some sort of meeting or get together. It's like somebody wanted, may have wanted to dive into something, but they were not awoken or awake just yet to possibly how they feel. You could be a mystery to this person. They could, they could find you very intriguing, but um, they, sometimes they feel like they could be climbing a mountain when it comes to inflating something or getting something pumped up. There was a drum roll here, so there could have been an ending to something. Or someone may have thought that something was over. Maybe because they were in isolation. Maybe they thought they were going to be alone or you were going to be alone. Uh, maybe somebody, um, you know, scheduled a time to show up or do something and it didn't happen. We have clock and blowing a kiss. So the time was up for someone imagining or thinking or resisting or not being awoken. It's like the time ran out for someone to live in this fantasy land or this illusion um, where they could keep hiding how they truly felt. It's like they tried to stop themselves and they thought that they had put it into something. They were like, okay, something had ended and it may have sparked something for them, but there may have been some sort of barrier in the way here. This could be a housing situation with fireplace, putting up wallpaper, a tree. So there could have been a barrier that was standing in the way for something to actually manifest or take you know take fruit take root somebody was watching though they were swallowing hard they were nervous um it's like going back and forth they felt like they were going back and forth with playing pinball being playing pinball being the third word on there somebody felt like maybe you were going back and forth but they could have been projecting their feelings maybe they were going back and forth with how they should feel about this situation or maybe you both were Somebody may have just decided to play something by ear because it felt like they were swimming up a canoe. It's like up Schitt's Creek without a paddle kind of thing. It's like you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Someone may be having car trouble or car issues with filling a car up with gas. Um, so someone may have um, wanted to travel towards somebody and they couldn't because of some sort of car issues. There was something that didn't add up though here with a calculator, bank machine. So someone may have been low on funds or money. Maybe they didn't think that they were ready. So somebody may not have thought they were ready because they didn't have money or funds um, for a union or a partnership. So somebody may have been self-conscious about maybe how much money they had or maybe how much money you had, something like that. But it's like they were watching and they didn't want something to end. It's like when they thought something ended, they really could have become upset or sad possibly even depressed that they didn't take some sort of action and come towards you or speak some sort of information because there's information that's being withheld by someone there may be some sort of pictures so we have camera bathtub and washcloth so somebody may um <laughs> be looking at your pictures Okay, so if they have a picture of you, they may be looking at your picture. Um, there may be some fantasies going on here. They could be going into the bathroom and, you know, taking a hot shower and um, doing things. And maybe they're imagining taking a shower with you. And these came out sideways. So, you know, painting your fingernails, using a mop, juggling. So someone could be juggling some responsibilities other things um but somebody is getting ready to make some sort of mover action um hula hoop curling your hair hanging a picture so it's like someone's gonna make a, a comeback okay it's like okay we're gonna swing this back around we're gonna try this again maybe you're both getting ready someone could be trying to get in shape <clears throat> someone could be um possibly going on a diet with hungry here maybe someone's like eating lighter uh, maybe they feel like they're um you know, maybe overweight, or they need to get in shape, or they see someone as very sexy, attractive, like they are in shape. There's a mother figure here, someone may be wanting to roll the dice, someone could be a mother figure, or parental figure. 
Um, so you could be, um, you know, a mother or a father and someone is having these thoughts about you. Maybe that's a barrier as well as children. So someone's child or children could be a barrier too. Uh, maybe someone's just focused on, um, you know, being a parent or something like that. Like maybe they have to go back and forth between their responsibilities, you know, between family and a love life kind of thing. <clears throat> someone, someone needs to balance something out. And it could be both of you. It could be both of you that have things that need to be balanced out before a meeting of the minds can take place. But there's definitely some sort of secret or information that was being kind of kept hush-hush. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. So somebody may have had this nagging feeling. It's like, especially if they thought something was over before it even got started. It's like they had this nagging feeling. They couldn't shake it. Maybe you both were feeling it about each other. Like there was some unfinished business that something wasn't done between the two of you bless your heart so you may have a good heart a good kind heart you may view this about the other person this may be a very healing union or partnership here you may view each other as good good souls you both may have good hearts or maybe somebody wants to bless you because of your heart what a good heart you have don't make me laugh i'm mad at you so someone may have thought you were mad at them because they thought maybe um, they annoyed you or something like that or something that they said or did was annoying or the other way around they could have said something or did something to kind of make you angry or did something or said something that was annoying. I'm having fun being myself doing what I love but someone admires you or you're admiring somebody else or you're admiring each other here um, just doing what you love being yourself someone loves you for exactly who you are they love your heart your soul your mind your body it's like this person loves everything about you anything else so bullying is never fun it's a cruel and terrible thing so somebody may have been um, trying to bully someone into staying away from someone or threatening them. Someone may have been feeling threatened by your independence. Um, you know, you're a very self-sufficient, independent person, whether you're a man or a woman. Someone's laying low, okay? They may feel like they're coming up short. So this could be you feeling like you're coming up short, or this could be someone feeling like they're coming up short when it comes to giving you what you need or what they want to give you. And this could be in the form of, you know, their body, money, whatever. Um, but there's something that they feel is lacking. If, I don't know. It's it's almost like they feel like there's something that's holding them back. Like they have some sort of reservation about, I don't know. I, I just heard maybe being able to satisfy you. I don't know, so you, there was someone here who was like someone's wish fulfillment or someone was wishing upon a star trying to manifest something. There could be something secretive. So somebody could be another person's like secret manifestations. Maybe someone didn't think their manifestations or their dreams would come true. So something could seem surreal or unreal. Maybe they feel like you're out of their league or something like that. I, I just heard you're just too good to be true. I can't take my mind off of you. So there's some sort of communication regarding a barrier. You know, something is causing... Um, yeah, so, so there was some miscommunication, and it caused a barrier. And this communication could have come in the form of a phone call, text, um, email, DM, whatever. Um, so there was some sort of information and someone may have thought that they were losing out on their wish fulfillment um, or maybe someone was starting to think that this wasn't their wish fulfillment or their dream come true but there's something here that's going to work out there was some sort of communication and someone didn't have a positive outcome so this could have come in the form of someone like an argument or disagreement or some sort of information that placed a barrier there may have been some bad news that someone experienced and they've been keeping it a secret so someone may have received some bad news and they're withholding that information someone may be going to bed each night thinking about you thinking about how they can make this love situation rule um, pan out here because someone was experiencing some bad luck. So there is someone 
connected to this situation who may have gotten a message of concern that something, um, you know, I just feel like somebody got some bad news, okay? But they feel like you're knocking something out of the park and they would have good luck with you. So this could be someone who maybe didn't take the risk or take the gamble with you and they had the chance and missed out on it. They, they could have thought they missed out on the opportunity to be with you and they kind of, they're swinging back around like, no, 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 that's not what I meant. Like someone could be trying to, um, you know, correct something that they said or did or, you know, there, there's just some bad news or misinformation or miscommunication. And this, this bad news could come from anything really. It could be like a health report. It could just be, um, you know, unexpected plans or something came up. And so um, something got changed maybe at the last minute and they had to cancel. But maybe you thought that they weren't really interested in, in you, but that wasn't the case. Once again, there was some sort of barrier hangman. Something is stuck. <clears throat> There could be barriers on both sides here because we have the scarecrow come out in the reverse twice. So there could be multiple barriers standing in the path. You both could be experiencing barriers to this relationship. But someone is on their path, okay? Someone wants to come towards you. Whatever barrier that had someone stuck was really pissing someone off. Someone was really upset about a barrier. Whether this is you yourself being upset about a barrier or someone else being upset like on your behalf for these barriers that are placed on, in front of you. Because you started a new cycle here, you're working on something new, <clears throat> you're on your right path, and somebody wants to have a ton of cups with you with this happiness, this happy, stable family. And they want to be caring and compassionate to you, it's like double for your trouble, okay? So it's like... I don't want to say someone is like two different people, but you could have multiple sides to you or you want to be compassionate to each other. This is like, you know, in an, in an equal give and take relationship, you know, you have someone, you know, who initially wants to offer you flowers, be compassionate. But in this situation, you're compassionate towards each other. So there is an equal give and take and there's like a meeting of a minds. And this may have come unexpectedly, but this is going to be a happy ten of cups situation because you're equally equally going to give to each other as much as the other and there's 10 10 so that could be significant um and i have 10 10 10 here on the spread so that could be significant as well <clears throat> but this is going to be like an equal give and take situation or relationship or it already is it could have already begun or this is what is going to come for you. Remember, press pa past, present, or future. Someone feels tongue-tied when they get near you, or you get this way when you're around this person. They can make you nervous, or you can make each other nervous. Because it's like there's this unspoken... There could be something unspoken between the two of you. Or maybe you know, but it's like no one's saying it. I don't know. It's like this awkwardness, but it's not like a bad awkwardness. Someone, someone's love could be healing, but they may feel like they're coming on too strong or somebody may have come on too strong. So someone may have gotten scared away or they could be afraid of scaring you away. Somebody was not happy in a situation that they were in. Um, somebody could be tired, exhausted, watching. So there was someone here who was watching. So someone may not have been in a good relationship or, a, a, you know, someone... One of the barriers for either one of you could be that somebody was watching either one of you or both of you, but someone was exhausted. They know that there is a bad relationship here or not a good situation, so this could have been somebody that you're in a relationship with that's watching you, and it's like they've watched you heal with someone and they can't control you, but... It's like someone is watching you heal with somebody else or someone's being watched. Somebody was really tired. They were tired, bored, or something in a past relationship or somebody that they were connected to. There's someone that could have been working, watching, spying to create barriers for another person. To make your dreams come true, you have to stay awake. So someone may have wanted, you know, it's like you could be their wish fulfillment, their dream come true. And they may have gotten caught sleeping on the job, like slacking. Um, there could have been a lack of communication if you're at a distance from this person. But this somebody feels love drunk here, okay? It's like, oh, I'm going to get you love drunk off them humps, them humps, these humps, these lovely lady lumps. 
Um, you could be feeling that way about each other. Like, you could be feeling addicted to them, or they could be feeling addicted to you. There was some sort of union. Um, it's like that became bored or stale. Um, it's like... it's It was the kind of situation where... Um, you know, and these could be the exes, um, you know, somebody that you were with before, um, you know, it's like maybe something grew stale after a while and you guys just kind of rolled over and went to sleep and, you know, you, there's a companion, but not really that intimate connection anymore. Monday, someone could be mad or upset, catch rule, dogs drool. So someone may have thought that someone was a better option or, you know, they could have decided to stay like. If they were going, if someone was going back and forth between you and possibly like reuniting or reconciling with an ex or something like that, someone could have thought someone was a better option, but they're bored in that relationship. It's like they're not healing. It's like they're giving to another person. So that could be a barrier. Um, you know, someone else in the picture here um, that they may be torn between because if this, this could be connected to my last reading that I just did. Um, if somebody was with someone for a while and they were like the best friend and they thought that they were going to grow old together and, you know, have this great happy life, there's not an equal give and take. Someone is giving more than they're getting. And it's like someone may be tired all the time, sleeping all the time, and someone is just becoming really frustrated in that situation. And meanwhile, this person is like feeling love drunk off of you and the possibilities and um, what could happen between the two of you? Someone may also be under the influence. If this is an ex that you were dealing with, that was watching you, bothering you, that you had this bad experience with, but still lurking in your energy, they could be upset. They could get under the influence or be under the influence, and they could actually snap off on a Monday because someone's trying to squeeze someone for money. So someone may be upset that they're not going to get some money off of you because you decided to heal with somebody else. So I'm seeing this like, you know, once again, two different ways. Somebody wanted to, ju to jump at an opportunity because someone could have been in bad health or they had like a panic attack, anxiety attack. So if you tried to end something with someone and um, they, they could have started panicking... Um, somebody could have also jumped at the opportunity to hook up with you if they were in this bad relationship. And like I said, this could be connected to the last one I did. So if someone was with a partner who was in bad health, they could have jumped at the opportunity to be with you. Um, if you're a divine femme or masculine, um, at a second chance at love, you know, kind of thing. And I may end up turning the comments off on this one too, because I don't, uh... Some of these more sensitive, touchier reads, um, you know, everybody has an opinion, so. Someone's coming back. Woohoo! Yep, someone's making a U-turn, busting a U-E. Um, they're upset, like, someone feels like they may have missed their opportunity to be with you, maybe because they hesitated. If they were torn between you and somebody that they were sharing a life with but has bad illness or that could be getting ready to pass away, this person could have a terminal illness, something like that. Um, you know, this person feels like they could have missed out on their opportunity and they don't want to miss that. They don't want to miss that with you. Normal people scare me. So, you know, you may not be the most normal people. Um, or... They may not have, it's like maybe you scared each other with how natural something is or like started to develop, especially if they hadn't had feelings for someone for a long time other than who they're with. Um, something could have scared both of you even. Um, somebody felt like maybe someone was wasting their time or somebody was wasting their time. Someone said, hey, how's it going? I hate Mondays. So... If this is a situation where your ex was meddling in your life, they could have pulled some shady shit on a Monday to get some money, um, to get some sort of finances. They could have thought that something was going to work out in their favor to get the upper hand, right? So they were wasting their time when they came back around when they busted a UE to do some bullshit. So it's like you have it's like you have two different people. It's like you have someone who wants this new beginning with you, but may 
be with somebody who is suffering a terminal illness or getting ready to pass away. Um, and I know this message is now going to be for everybody because that's not everyone's case. Okay. Um, but somebody wants a second chance at love, but there are barriers for both of you. So the barrier for someone you want to be with could be that they are connected to somebody you know, who they could have spent many years with or expected to grow old with, and they're torn between taking care of this person and loving them, but they're not getting their needs met. And also you're dealing with possibly a crazy ass gold digging ex who won't leave you alone and won't stay out of your business. Okay. And you know, it doesn't have to be that they're married. It could be them taking care of like an elderly parent or something like that, or even a sick child, um, you know, with the parental figure that came out. So, you know, for the parental figure that came out earlier, or like a mother, father figure, someone who may have children, um, someone that you have children with could be causing problems for you to try to squeeze you for some money to, you know, that gold digger energy. But somebody is also in bad health, so someone else could be taking care, you know, and just flip the, the rules and stuff, but someone could be taking care of someone who, you know, is in bad health or needs taken care of, so it's like you're both strained, stressed out, but this connection is so electrifying, there's something so shocking, it's like the connection that you share with this person is undeniable, there's a positive outcome. There's an equal give and take. It's like you you both want to take care of each other. You both need something. There's a very healing essence about this situation. But there's also something very shocking about it. Um, so chemistry could be significant. Like there could be a significant amount of chemistry. I used to be perfect, but now I'm even better. So this is in the reverse. If someone could be pissed off. This could be your ex or somebody who's pissed off because they thought you were never going to get anyone better than them. They didn't want you to do better than them in life. They, they could have been trying to compete with you. Something is being put to a stop because you're unbothered by someone's bullshit. Someone, someone's just like, whatever, I'm going to do me. I'm going to do whatever I need to do. There was a relationship where it's like somebody wasn't getting the attention they needed, they could have felt neglected, especially if someone isn't able to um, be intimate with another person. So it's like, it's going back and forth. I'm, I'm feeling like an energy of bouncing back and forth between the barriers that you and this other person are going through. But someone can't deny that ass, okay? Um, yeah, use a big fine moment, won't you back that ass up? Girl, who's you playing with? Back that ass up. Yeah, someone someone can't stop it. They want to partner up with you. They know they'd be happy with you. But there's something that's stopping, you know, like someone dead in their tracks. It's like, er, wait, we got to put the brakes on this. It's like they want to get started, but like, er, wait, hold up. Um, so it's like, man, there's all this chemistry here. There's all these feelings here. There's all these emotions here. But there's so much stuff going on between you know, both sides of the coin here. Someone was trying to foil your plans. They were trying to make you unmotivated. I can, but I won't. Someone wanted you to give up. So your ex could have been trying to, you know, create all these barriers, throwing rocks, hiding hands for you so that you would just want to give up so you wouldn't find love, especially someone better than them. Oh, man. People just need to mind their business. <clears throat> Someone wants you to back that ass up, guys. <laughs> no joke. Someone's trying to keep someone trapped. So someone is trying to keep someone bound and trapped, okay? So this could be you being set free from a negative situation, or this is someone who's still trying to keep someone trapped, and they could be pissed, okay? Someone could be pissed that they can't keep you trapped anymore. You're unbothered. You don't pay them any attention. Someone sees you as a treasure, as valuable, um, you know, and if this is an equal give and take situation relationship, um, you know, so you view each other as treasure or valuable. This, the relationship that you're involved with, no matter if other people know about it, you know, if you're open about it, whatever the situation is, um, you view each other as a treasure, like maybe that you thought you would never find. I mean, there's something really special about this situation. Um, about both of your dreams coming true, something becoming reality. You've been manifesting each other, <clears throat> Empress. So someone may be married, okay? So something could be stopped, like, er, so, you know, um, the masculine or, you know, or the feminine here. But there is an Empress. Um, there's someone who is married, and maybe they don't want to be married, or they can't come towards this Empress because they are married, and, you know... 
that's problems. That that's an issue. Uh, but there was a tower moment here that was caused by something. Someone's watching. So someone's watching, spying, seeing what you're doing. So this could even be Empress. This could be your ex who you were married to that, you know, maybe didn't want to be with you and they could have walked away from you, but yet they're spying and stalking you and watching you and trying to ruin your life and they don't want you to move forward. And if you have children with this person, they could be using a child as leverage. But someone here either is married or was married to another person and they're watching and someone's watching. It's like they're hoping that you don't connect with someone else. Someone is just hoping that you don't end up finding someone else. So we have a mother figure, feminine energy in the reverse. Someone, Something shocking could have been discovered about something dark that they did. So there could be something that a mother figure did that was shocking <clears throat> or disturbing. Someone could be wearing a mask and trying to scare someone here. And someone's very dark, and this is causing a tower moment. So, you know, this could be... And it could also be um, someone that was shocked to find out what someone dark was doing to a mother figure. So if, the, if this is um, somebody you're partnered up with, maybe you opened up to them and explained about your crazy ass dark ex, what they did to you. And there could have been some shocking things that this person discovered about you. But someone here is trying to wear a mask and scare someone. It's like somebody is trying to cause fear to someone possibly to stop them from moving on or moving forward but there's a tower moment here because someone really is hiding their true intentions or their personality someone really does have dark motives whether this is an ex or whoever this is that's causing problems for you um and it could be an ex partner or like you know the mother figure just because it was in the reverse that could be like past energy like where you guys had a conversation and um, so you expressed what happened to you in the past. It's not always karmic energy just because it's in the reverse. But there was a two of cups situation, okay? So I must be on the right track. So this is someone's ex. So if you're a masculine, that could have been your ex-wife. Um, if you're a feminine, that could have been your ex-husband. Or if you're in the same sex, you know, whatever. It's however you read it. Um, but there was a Two of Cups situation, and someone does see you as a treasure. It's like one man's trash is another man's treasure. It's like that person didn't value you. They didn't treasure you, so why are they in your business? Why are they watching you? Um, you know, they stood back and watched you had to heal from something that could have been traumatic from, you know, something that happened to you, possibly involving a mother figure, okay? So maybe your mother was trying to ruin your life, and this person walked away from you. Your ex could have walked away from you, left you high and dry. They didn't help you. They didn't value you. You know, they're, they're experiencing bad luck. So someone that you were partnered up with is experiencing some bad luck or did experience bad luck because of what they did. And someone could be getting a treasure or be seeing you as a treasure and something's getting laid to rest or someone is getting laid to rest. <clears throat> so maybe, you know, you could have had some issues confidence issues maybe you've been through a lot you've been through a lot of traumatic experiences possibly maybe you've had a hard life but you're gonna have this clean slate so something's being laid to rest with this clean slate this new beginning because someone does treasure you and value you and you value them and treasure them as well because you're the empress you're the queen of cups <clears throat> there's a clean slate and a new beginning coming for an empress queen of cups you do things from a loving caring heart space you're very compassionate. You're very emotionally balanced. You don't fly off the handle. You know, you can be balanced between your masculine. If you're a divine femme, you're balanced between your masculine and feminine energy. <clears throat> the challenge is, is there's a king of swords here um, who may need to speak some sort of truth about some secrets that they're holding. You know, what's done in darkness being brought to light. This could also be a divine partnership coming together with a king of swords. But they have a truth they need to speak. And they could be coming across as kind of um, cold-hearted at times, like kind of unemotional. It's like they could be going back and forth with how they feel. 
about this divine union and partnership. They could feel conflicted, especially if they're still dealing with, um, you know, a sick spouse or taking care of somebody with an illness. <clears throat> But there is a Queen of Cups who's being set free from a negative situation. And we do have a Queen of Swords who is lying and being dishonest here. So, you know, this could be somebody who was kind of cold-hearted, a vampire. Um, somebody could have also been experiencing bad luck um, after trying to get a judgment against someone that they were partnered up with. Like if somebody tried to ha take someone to court, do some shady shit, like if that's your ex trying to cause some drama in the court... That could have been a judgment that somebody made. It could even be the judge that is having bad luck ever since they made a judgment call. All because something was for show. Something was just a metal in your life. It wasn't real. Somebody was tempted by the low-hanging fruit, strength, so someone was weak, someone was a coward. Somebody could have been manipulated or paid off to make a judgment call within the courts. Because you're an official person, okay? Whoever you are, you're the hierophant. You're an advisor, you're a true spiritualist, you're tapped in. This can also be you being set free from a judgment. So this can also be someone in a position of authority or a religious figure. Yeah, someone's rushing with some sort of truth and this is bringing you a victory. So there's there could be a victory within the court system or legal system or someone in a position of authority is making a judgment call. Maybe there were some bad judgments in the past against you. But someone knows that you've been hurt by things. And someone is trying to hurt you. And there was an imbalance with a, with a karmic past lover, okay? So your ex was a karmic. They've been wreaking havoc on your life, causing imbalances for you. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you move on. They won't leave you the fuck alone. They could be using a child, trying to get child support, something like that. It's like they just won't piss off. They created an injustice, but something is moving for you. Something's already in motion. Something has already been started for you, and this person can't stop it. They can keep trying to place barriers. You know, these barriers can keep popping up for you and your divine counterpart, but they're still going to be temporary, okay? Just because something's paused for a moment, that doesn't mean it's going to be permanent. And someone here is getting a message of concern that something is still moving forward for you. They didn't stop shit. It could be um, this person that was trying to cause barriers for you if it was your ex. Or your divine counterpart's ex that was trying to cause problems. But someone's getting a message of concern that you're still moving forward. Yeah. Somebody sees you. Like, you're a jack of all trades. You're very gifted. And somebody wants to partner up with you. And no one's going to stop this union from happening. It really is a divine connection where you had a connection more than likely in a past life with the chemistry and the connection that you guys have um you know the timing may not have been perfect um but everything is also in divine timing so the when you connected with this person like maybe you've known each other for a while but um and even though someone may have an, a sick spouse or something like that there's something here that is and at the right time it is divine timing so just because other people may not like the timing of it doesn't mean it's not the right time because someone needs a shoulder to cry on someone needs to heal someone's going through a very difficult time and we also have the other person here who's going through a very difficult time they've been through a lot of traumatic experiences and there's a very healing energy with this union okay you both could be healers and maybe the other person didn't know it maybe they weren't woke to it maybe that's why there could have been some rejection issues in the beginning um you could be more enlightened or more spiritual than your divine counterpart but they're waking up and they're realizing it you know it's like they're waking up smelling the coffee and they're like oh shit okay so they kind of had an aha moment and they've been working on you know raising their vibration to try to meet you where you're at there is a risky commitment okay there is a risky situation here with the lover's card it may not sit well with everybody else I i'm not gonna lie but th it's moving forward something is moving forward with the chariot there is a risky situation with a star you have a divine connection and somebody created an injustice by trying to keep you bound and trapped mentally physically emotionally whatever the case this is the offer that you've been waiting for someone was a gold digger a queen of pentacles energy so someone was a gold digger and somebody was trying to stop another person from going towards their divine counterpart and we have a emperor here and we have a hierophant in the reverse so while we have someone who was an official person a hierophant um we have the hierophant in the reverse so this is like your opposite so that would be like someone's 
false twin kind of energy you know what i'm saying like you could be their true twin that could have been their false twin um you know not everyone has a twin i had quite a few cards slip out here so i'm gonna just grab those <clears throat> We had someone here, a gold digging ass female, who was dead set on trying to affect someone's peace, disturb their peace. Someone's juggling. The juggling's over. The juggling's gonna stop. There's going to be a celebration. There could be a gathering, a get together with three people here. The juggling's over because there is, you know, there may be, I, I don't know, I just keep getting this energy, but, um, you know, the person who could be married, like, they may want you to come be with them. And even if not, there's going to be a reason to celebrate in this new cycle. So whether it's three of you all together or two of you together after somebody passes away, there's going to be a new cycle here that's going to be a happy occasion for a high priestess, okay? And this gold digging ass queen of pentacles is not getting a clean slate because they were being sneaky and trying to steal something and they celebrated some shit way too soon, okay? They celebrated way too soon. So this could have been a mother figure, could have been your ex, could have been a mother figure working with your ex. Divine Femme, you had a lot of shit going on, okay? You and your Divine Masculine have a lot going on, and I'm not saying that you're mirroring each other's experiences identically, but you both have gone through some shit, and you both have these barriers here that are stopping you or trying to stop this union from happening, but it is a Divine Union. It is going to happen. No one can stop this. There was a very emotional situation when someone decided not to be compassionate to you, you know? They didn't admire you. They didn't love you. Like I said, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Or female. Someone was a coward, okay? So someone could have backed out from coming towards you with an offer or being compassionate to you. And they kind of created an emotional situation within themselves because they regretted doing so. And this could also be your ex who wasn't compassionate to you. And they're going to see you being happy with somebody else and they may not like it. Maybe they know this person, maybe they don't, but they're not going to like it. And that's their problem. There is something that's going to happen here. And some people aren't going to like it. This is a risky connection here. This is a risky commitment. But it was meant to happen. <clears throat> it was destined. I don't know how else to explain it. That's just the energy. is like something was destined to happen. And other people may not like how it happened or when it happened or what. But, you know, someone had a decision to make. Someone was at a crossroads. And they chose to be a coward and cause problems and not be compassionate towards you. It's like, if this was your ex and they had, you know, that's causing problems for you. And they had a choice between you and reconciling with somebody else. Um, they chose wrong. Okay? That's on them. If they chose a gold digging queen of pentacles over a divine femme, that's on them. I mean, what, what, do, you, what, what do you want the divine femme to do? You know? Give you a cookie? I mean, get on with your life, dude. Your financial stability is good. It's going to be good. You could be thinking about it, being protective over it. You have a victory here. There is something kind of taboo. Um, so there may be something kind of taboo or, you know, non-traditional when it comes to some sort of victory you're going to have, especially if it's related to this new relationship. But you also have money coming towards you in a transformation and a tower moment. So events are out of everyone's control. This, this is destined to happen. There is a transformation someone is going to have to make. It's like there, there's a whole group of people here that even if they're not directly connected, they're going to be affected by this. And there's no escaping it. This tower moment's going to work out great for a divine feminine masculine. And there's going to be great transformation. I'm not saying there's not going to be obstacles in this relationship. There's already barriers coming into this relationship or this, um, you know, union. But it, it's going to happen. So it's kind of like brace yourselves, you know, kind of energy. Because the Wheel of Fortune is on your side, and you're going to move on to calmer waters. You're seen as someone who is held in high honor. Empress, Divine Femme, like, this was meant for you. Especially if you've had a lifetime of trouble, hell, trauma, you know, you've had to heal from a lot of shit. You know, you're cool with your trauma, you've healed, like, you're fine, but you still deserve to be happy, okay? So you shouldn't have to live the rest of your life in pain being re-traumatized by these exes or whatever, or these cycles that they're trying to keep you trapped in. You know, someone made a decision to create a financial imbalance for you and create an injustice for you, and that cycle's over. They, they can't keep you stuck in this shit, okay? It's over. It's played out. Like, you're over it. 
<clears throat> You're going to get some sort of reward, accolade, recognition. Someone's pissed that they couldn't compete with you. The High Priestess and the reverse, okay? That greedy-ass Queen of Pentacles could have been trying to compete with you, and they're all emotional because they can't compete with you. And your ex, whoever that is, um, that keeps playing in your energy, they fucked up because they chose wrong. They chose, they could have chosen a dark practitioner, okay? If they had a choice between someone who practices dark shit and a light worker or something like that, they fucked up. <clears throat> Somebody could be emotional, could have been emotional to find out that there was someone doing spell work on them, like love spells or something like that. This person could have been trying to curse you or some shit. Once again, we have the Four of Pentacles here. Someone concerned about their financial stability. You're going to be fine. Queen of Wands, okay? Queen of Wands. Um, but there was a heartbreaking situation here um, about someone being in poverty with this financial imbalance. So your ex or someone's ex, um, your ex could have ended up in poverty when this gold digger took everything they had. You know what I mean? So they could be emotional because they chose this high priestess in the reverse. They ended up in a heartbreaking situation. They could have ended up in poverty. And they see, they see you financial, stable, natural born leader, caring, compassionate, loving, you know, queen of wands energy and receiving, you know, public recognition or whatever. You could have a platform and this is driving them effing nuts. It's driving somebody crazy. They're watching you. Someone's very emotional. Someone's very emotional about this. And there's a queen of swords who's carrying a lot of heavy burdens. So someone's very emotional. If this is like the king of swords is you know, a spouse or something like that, they could be carrying the burden of knowing that they're going to have to pass soon. You know, they're, they're carrying a lot of burdens. They could be even keeping this secret. Maybe they didn't even tell anyone about this yet. This could also be a judgment going in someone's favor that's going to make someone very emotional, but it's going to help lift those burdens. Yes, there's a time of, you know, just stress, just other people putting their bullshit on you, but you're going to get through this. Somebody didn't get the clean slate that they were expecting. So if this is your ex that expected to get a clean slate with a gold digger, they ended up getting taken for basically everything they had. They could have lost a significant amount of money. They ended up in the Page of Pentacles. There could be a message that they were in poverty. Now they want to come back to this Queen of Wands. They can't come back to this Queen of Wands. And, you know, there's, there's an emotional situation regarding this Queen of Swords and the heavy burdens that they're carrying. And they could be suffering in silence, knowing secrets. And this King of Swords could know secrets. But they're not telling this divine femme these secrets. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could know what's going on with their spouse, obviously, if they're married to this person. But they're not telling this divine femme. It's like, there's a lot of secrets that are being kept. But, I mean, they don't want to worry people. They don't want to stress people. Maybe they're hoping for some sort of miracle or healing. Maybe, if you're a healer or a light worker, maybe this couple wants you to move in with them and work on helping them heal. Someone's being immature. I thought this was high school. That came out sideways. So someone's being immature. Because they're not divine. They were evil. They wanted you to give up on your dreams. But, you know, they tried to trap you up and you missed the trap. You have true love coming. You have true love coming. Someone was in bad health. Pay attention to your health is in the reverse. Someone, someone has health issues. There's no denying it. my condolences to whoever's going through this because i mean this is a lot of this is a lot of baggage i mean it's really heavy energy when someone knows they're going to pass i mean it's one thing for something to happen unexpectedly but for someone to know they're going to pass and to, to, to depending on what kind of illness it is these things can drag out for years months and they can be very painful and hard to watch um you know going through taking care of a sick parental figure or spouse you know, um, is very difficult, very difficult. Pointing out your mistakes and projecting. So someone is projecting their mistakes onto you, um, or to someone else because someone has to watch their spending. It's only a matter of days before something happens. So someone is just projecting their own bullshit onto you. Like if they're saying you're a bad parent, this, that, and the other, they're just, they're just trying to cause shit for you. Something really good is going to be happening for you in a matter of days. Divine Femme. 
Someone's gonna snap and go crazy, okay? I know how to use crazy. They intentionally cause an injustice. So something is going to be happening in the next one to three months. Okay, someone intentionally caused an injustice. Someone's going to snap and try to cause an injustice within the next one to three months. They need to go heal themselves like you had to do. Someone needs to go heal their childhood wounds. Your crazy ass ex needs to go heal their childhood wounds. They're fucking nuts. You could have someone blocked. I blocked you or you blocked me. So someone... Someone could be going crazy because you blocked them and they can't affect you, so they're using underhanded tactics to take jabs at you. They don't have a clue. Hasn't got a clue. Someone doesn't have a clue what's about to happen. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. So something could be coming as a surprise to you. <clears throat> A pain in the neck, a pain in the butt. So someone who is trying to be a pain in the neck, pain in the butt, doesn't have a clue about what's about to go down for them. Because what they did was create a perfect storm for a big man on campus, a king or queen of wands energy in the upright, okay? So all they did was create the perfect storm for you to have a good life. <clears throat> Even if your previous, up until now, was not the greatest, you are destined to live at least the last part of your life not in misery and pain. Don't ask me when, don't ask me who, what, why, when, where, how. If you want a personal reading, get a personal reading. Don't ask me, well, how, when did they know this, or who did this, who did that? No, I didn't say this was your message, now did I? If you want a personal reading, that's a different story. Not every message is for every person, so don't automatically assume that this is your message. Somebody was definitely a bald-faced liar, and all's fair in love and war, okay? Dime a dozen. There's a liar here that's so common, so cheap. They're not special, they're not anything special, they chose... Um, you know, a common everyday gold digging whore over a divine femme, and that's fine. Or they could have been the gold digging whore. Your ex could have been the gold digging whore, okay? However you fit into this, if this is your message, okay? Um, but someone was so common, so cheap, they were a bald-faced liar. And you know what? All's fair in love and war. Someone wants this king or queen of wands here, this queen of wands, this divine femme. This is a divine partnership, and it's gonna happen, and you know what? It's... You know, this was the blind leading the blind, so there could have been multiple people, mess, you know, causing barriers, causing havoc, being a pain in the ass. You're going to have fun in the sun. You're going to have a positive outcome. Someone could have went broke, okay? So someone went for broke. Someone went broke, and they got stuck between a rock and a hard place because they were listening to bad advice, and they were being guided by probably a gold-digging person that they attached themselves to. So if they kept attacking you over and over and this gold digging whore was like, yeah, you need to take their ass back to court. You need to get some child support from them. Um, you need to make all these allegations against them to get custody of your child so that they can pay you support because we, we need money. We're, we're broke. We need money. But yet this crazy ass bitch is spending all their money. Okay. But that's, that's who they chose. Okay. Don't step on anyone's toes. Someone better watch about stepping on this divine femme or masculine's toes at this time because they're coming out of a dark and stormy night and there is an ace in the hole, okay? They do have an ace up their sleeve even if they don't know it yet. But they have divine timing on their side and they have the divine, the almighty. The all that is, was, and ever will be is on their side. The burning question Someone's keeping a secret, okay? The burning question, what's going on? What's this about? There's people that are keeping secrets, okay? There's a secret that needed to be said or told. Um, it's going to come out eventually um, in divine timing. Once you know, And when people ask time frames, that's all I can tell you. You can hear a reading and it may not even be relevant for a year, until a year from now, two years from now. A far cry. Someone's at a distance crying. Someone, someone really screwed up. They made a wrong choice. They're going to see somebody else be happy with somebody else. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine for them because they're going to have to live with the pain. But did they help you when you were in pain? That's my question. Where were they when you needed them? Aquarius. In the fall. <clears throat> Where were we? Where were they when you were down and out? When people were traumatizing you, kicking you when you were down? Someone's missing you in the winter time on a Sunday. And then we have the summer with a Leo and a Cancer. So there's something significant that could have happened during those time frames. 
someone sees the writing on the wall. This could be you, your divine counterpart, whatever the case. Um, and it could even be your crazy ass ex who is just now seeing the writing on the wall. You could be younger, so there could be an age difference between you and somebody. So, there could be an age difference between someone, um, you know, you could be younger and someone seeing the writing on the wall. You could be the younger person seeing the writing on the wall here, but karma's a bitch and someone's going to end up going to jail because of what they did. Or they're trying to get someone thrown in jail, trapped in jail, it's going to be a mental jail, physical jail. Karma's a bitch for trying to get someone locked up without a reason, without a cause. Because the younger person here is moving forward. They are the jack of all trades. They're very gifted here. And there were people here that were thick as thieves trying to do something really shady to this person. And this really is the calm before the storm. For someone who's wet behind the ears. Libra. You could be a Libra or something is just being balanced out. So there is someone younger here. There is an age difference between either you and your ex. You and this new person. Maybe both. I don't know. Um, but there's definitely something that needs to be balanced out because someone is not acting their age. They're acting very childish and they're too damn old to be acting like this. Someone really needs to throw in the towel here. A Gemini needs to quit. They were on a wild goose chase. You have high hopes for your future. Something is going to work out for you. You know, you're not looking back. Never look back. <clears throat> If they were on a wild goose chase with a gold digging ass person, you know, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, that's on them, okay? Something significant about Friday, there could be a wolf at the door. Something is going to be happening as quick as lightning. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, spinning their wheels and back to square one. So if someone was spinning their wheels, they weren't missing you. <clears throat> they regret their decision, though, because they chose, they chose, um, you know, a karmic a karmic femme over a divine femme you know someone has to go back to square one and this could even be you getting a new start a new beginning you may be starting over but at least you have the experience the know-how even though you're starting over um it's a different it's a different starting over you know you may have had to start over many times but this time it's different don't ask me why it's your story person, place, or thing, the letter I could be significant. And someone wants in. Someone wants to jump in, dive in. Both of you do. X. And X is in trouble. Definitely. Them and their shady shit. I. Someone's being watched. So if someone's ex is in trouble because they're being watched or they tried to have you watched and it could have backfired on them. N, again. So, like I said, N, N. Like, literally, I, N, I, N. So you both are in, okay? And then someone has an ex here that's trying to stand in the way. Okay. So there could be some ink, someone's ink. Um, so divorce papers could be significant. Um someone's divorce agreement could be significant i just heard the ink on the paper isn't even dry yet e the name keenan or kenneth oh god i'm horrible with these names a could be significant uh kanina uh i've never heard that name before um kanina could be significant Care, Kiana, 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 Kiana. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, G. Someone's definitely going. They're going for it. They're moving forward. T. Someone's got you in their sights. You are in someone's crosshairs, and they are in yours. And another A. So, someone could be addicted to you. You could be addicted to each other. Someone's ex could suffer from some sort of addiction. Someone could have accused you of having addictions. But we have X, I N, I N, A A, K E, and G O T. And also, Game of Thrones could be significant. Good show. All right. I hope this helps. Have a good day.